throughout the rest of the course, when we're doing JavaScript, we're going to be working in a lot of different exercises that are applicable to what you just learned. So you can actually take things that you've learned and use it. So once you master this skill, we're going to show you, okay, you've mastered it. Now try and figure out what you can actually build with it. And part of the important part of that was figure out because so much of JavaScript is problem solving. Um, when you go online and try to search for Stack Overflow questions, for example, HTML and CSS, you're going to get the answer almost immediately. With the JavaScript, what's going to happen is you're going to get a ton of different answers, some that are not applicable to you at all. Sometimes none of them will be applicable to you because maybe you're doing something that you know nobody else has done before and you just have to figure it out. This happens all the time. So what I want you all to do is whenever we come up to a video where we're testing something out, doing an exercise or a project, I want you to try it first. Our project in this video is to write a program that asks the user for her name and greets her with her name. And if you're stuck right now, which most people will be, I want you to look back at what you've learned and take it one step at a time. Don't try to do it all at once. Try to chop it up into pieces. So we're saying write a program that asks the user, right? So that's one piece. How do you ask a user for her name and then greets her with her name? That's the second portion of this. So go ahead, pause the video, take some time to figure this out. Don't be surprised if it takes you like five or 10 minutes. It could take a while, but it's gonna be so worth it. It's gonna feel so good when you figure it out on your own. All right, so I'm hoping that you've already figured out how to do it, or you figured out some way how to do it at this point. If not, that's completely fine. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I'd recommend coming back to this problem later on, and any other problem that you're not able to do on your own, go back to it after you've seen how I've done it and try to figure it out later on. Could be a week, could be a month later, go back and try to figure it out. So let's see how we would do this. First one is, we need a prompt, right? Because we wanna know what the user's name is. And we need to save that name, so we need a variable. So we'll do variable username equals prompt. Then we want to display it on the screen. So we can just do document dot write username. Now we could save it like this. Let's go ahead and see what pops up. Say Matt. And there's my name. But the exercise said to greet her with her name, and I don't really feel like I've been greeted. So what we really want to do is use concatenation to add in a string here. So we could say, hello, plus username, plus, comma, are you doing today? Or you could write, great to see you, or whatever you want. So then when we come back to Chrome and we refresh, and I'll write my name again. Say, hello, Matt, how are you doing today? So now I feel like I've actually been greeted. So that's all the code you need to do that. 